Hello and welcome back to the Make Me a Better Woman channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. Today I am super excited to talk about Party Palooza. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite parties that we've planned throughout the year. If you're like most people, you may have had to alter your plans due to COVID-19. Well, my sweet daughter was getting ready to celebrate her 21st birthday, and we came up with this 21 and quarantine theme. I got the inspiration for this yard party earlier in the month when we celebrated my husband's birthday by hiring the Kona ice truck. He's a huge lover of popsicles and I thought it'd be pretty special to have a snow cone truck where he could pick out any flavor of his choice. My daughter's a huge foodie just like I am and I thought it would be doing double duty by hiring a local food truck to help them out financially during this time that everyone was struggling due to coronavirus. Well, this amazing food truck uh, the owners agreed to come and pull in front of my driveway. They serve these amazing pineapple bowls that are filled with either steak, chicken, shrimp, or all three. And they were absolutely delicious. The pineapple bowls were filled with long grain rice and your choice of meat and their special sauce. We even had lobster mac and cheese on the side and collard greens. Yum, yum. The next major part of our 21 and quarantine party were the quarantinis, which were simply margaritas that we served in these really cute glasses. We had alcoholic and non-alcoholic margaritas or quarantinis. This cute pineapple bowl I found at my local grocery store, and I decided to make pineapples part of the theme to go with the quarantinis since the food was served in pineapple bowls. These adorable cookies made by my cake lady were just perfect. She put them in pre-sealed bags that we were able to give away um, and also use as uh, kind of centerpieces or decorations uh, on the table. But she did an amazing job. The margarita cookies were just super cute and um, legal AF. Although we had a small yard party you still have to have that special cake. And look at the cute little salt shakers that I also found at my grocery store. The pineapple and the margarita and the salt. Um, but the, uh, a lot of the decorations um, I found at my grocery store or at um, my local dollar store. And everything just went really cute. And you'll see I've got hand sanitizer uh, there on the table that I gave out to everybody. And I just decided to keep the... Um, color scheme going with the pink and the margarita colors and uh, the pineapple and we decorated the front door since it was a yard party we really didn't let anybody in the house um, due to coronavirus um, but we had everything set up in the backyard and in the front yard so uh, our guests could simply walk up to the food truck they also served uh, snow cones for our guests it seems like yesterday that I planned this spa day party for my daughter for her 13th birthday and now she's uh, just celebrated her 21st. I actually was blessed enough to rent out um, a salon and invite some of my daughter's closest friends and each young lady was able to get a spa day. And um, these are little kits that I put together for each guest. This is what they got um, in their bags, in their goodie bags. Uh, for each young lady and if I remember correctly there were six stations uh, at the particular salon and um, these are some cute little uh, sandals um, invitations and it's important if you're going to do a party like this to have invitations so that you'll um, can reserve an RSVP and pay ahead for uh, how many girls. I made this party really personable for my daughter. I was able to find stickers um, with her name and I just stuck those on little water bottles and I just tried to coordinate her color theme through uh, everything. This is a cute little cake pop carousel um, that I made. Um, so I try to incorporate personal handmade touches uh, as well as things that I bought. I made all of the individual um, little parfaits here and uh, they were pistachio and these are little uh, chocolate mud pies with 
Oreo crumbled on top. And especially now with um, COVID going on and our kind of new normal, I definitely would suggest, I was showing you here how you layer these, but I would definitely suggest trying to have a bunch of individual um, desserts rather than everybody going in uh, scooping. I would definitely suggest here with a spa party, you definitely want to have uh, some lighter, fair, and healthier foods, fruits and veggies. Here's a veggie tray here. And try cutting um, cucumbers and things differently just to uh, make it stand out. I had so much fun making this spa face mask lady. And it's basically um, cheese under there that I covered in avocado. Her head wrap is uh, mozzarella cheese. She's got cucumbers on her eyes. And she's got the rubious red juicy lips, which is a, a red pepper, red bell pepper. There, but I had so much fun. Um, I started with a little face mask mold that you can buy at the craft store and filled that with a soft cheese and let that you know, wrapped it in plaster wrap, let that mold, and then you take the face mask off and just slather it in your avocado here. I've put some chips all around it where you can just kind of go um, dip in there. Uh, you can take a knife or whatever and dip. This was a leftover avocado. I actually put this on uh, each young lady's tray so that they could get an avocado face mask. This is a key lime pie. I just really kept her color theme going. Um, she absolutely loves the color green, um, as you can see. And this is a really yummy uh, cake. And here I've just made that cake into cupcakes. Um, if you would like the recipe, please comment, and I'll be sure to give you my key lime cake uh, recipe. I have altered it um, from the original recipe that I uh, found. I uh, thought these were the cutest little popcorn boxes, and I put um, a chocolate bar on front and some other little candy. And as you can see, I've got a fun little popcorn mixture in here, uh, chocolate-covered popcorn. There's a green popcorn. I don't even remember the flavor of that one, but... Um, the kids like anything that's colored. Um, I also took this same fun theme. If you don't want to give out candy, these are marshmallows um, and Tootsie Rolls that look like nail polish if you don't want to give out a lot of candy. but And here's nail polish that you can give uh, to the girls in their goodie bags. But I also took that same theme for my birthday that year and made it a grown-up party. And I was able to rent a day spa for me and a few of my close friends. And I dressed up our uh, veggie tray a little bit more with some uh, veggies uh, and a ranch dip. And here we've got some uh, fluff and some chocolate sauce for some strawberries and cheese and grapes. And so I here's the setup. My birthday is around the holiday, so it kind of did a Christmas theme here. But um, us ladies just kind of... Uh, mingled and uh, took our turns getting massages or facials or pedicures and had chocolate and plenty of water uh, for the ladies to uh, take home but it was a really fun thing this is probably one of my absolute favorite parties I did it was a 50s themed sock hop party that I did for my daughter for her 10th birthday had so much fun shopping but I made um, the decorations so that I could be or the invitations so that I could and the menus here and um, these are root beer float cupcakes they were part of the invitations that went out and it's got that little hard root beer uh, candy on top these are some more of the centerpieces and decorations and um, the TV there was a TV uh, in the room that we rented and so we had this on the screen and I bought all the old-fashioned candy that I could get for a candy bar and uh, each table um, had a menu and had place settings that the kids could draw on and we just really tried to uh, take it back we had the tables numbered and I had um, a couple of teenagers some of my favorite teenagers that acted as kind of sock cop waitresses and they went around and took orders and um, my cake lady is absolutely amazing. These are poodle skirt cake pops, and hopefully you saw the detail on those milkshake cake pops with the straw and the whipped cream and the cherry. She is absolutely amazing. I mean, the cake 
is to die for as well. Um, the kiddos didn't know what the little circle ones were. They thought they were eyeballs because they didn't know what a record was. So that was hilarious. But I had so much fun um, doing this 50s themed sock cop party. We got the whole family involved. My husband and my son actually put on uh, t-shirts and cuffed their jeans. And so we all got into character and the kiddos just had a lot a lot of fun and I bought uh, every little coca-cola glass I could find at the dollar store and so the kids had a real um, 50s themed experience um, for this 10th sock hop birthday party and uh, I ordered my daughter's uh, outfit online I ordered mine online too I got into the the whole theme you'll see my outfit here shortly but I was just so impressed with the decorations. And this is a backdrop that you'll see uh, here. We had a lot of fun taking pictures. And that here I am in my whole little poodle skirt and the whole get up. And I saved uh, these decorations because I later on, you'll see, gave my aunt a, a Route 66 50s theme party. She was turning 66 and I thought it would be cute. So I... Don't know about you guys, but I keep a lot of my decorations and try to repurpose them. And here I just bought cupcakes and had them to do them in the shape of um, six six here. And here's some of the uh, decorations that I repurposed and added some new. I used a poodle skirt. We served uh, burger baskets and fries. Well, this is another one of my favorite parties. It was actually a carnival-themed party. Um, we had popcorn, we had fresh lemonade, here we have cupcakes. You don't always have to get um, a special cake. You can get cupcakes pre-made and put fun little um, decorations on them. And I pretty much fried everything at that party. I fried um, Philly cheese steak egg rolls. Uh, we had street tacos. I fried corn dogs and french fries. I even fried candy bars. And this, I made homemade cupcakes. My daughter was wanting uh, some strawberry cupcakes, and I couldn't find those anywhere. So I came up with this recipe, and if you'd like this recipe, be sure and comment, and I'll give you my recipe for homemade strawberry cupcakes as well. These are cute little plates because she's just always been a diva, has always loved uh, the color pink. She's the baby of the family. So this uh, was so true. So when it came time to her sweet 16, uh, this cake and all of her decorations um, just totally fit her. And if you'll check out my video, I've got a whole video of uh, all the decorations and everything I did for her sweet 16 party. And you just want to do really special touches. I added her name there. And you want to drop dead gorgeous uh, area for pictures. This is another favorite cake that I did. Uh, or that we had for a baby shower. Um, pretty much any of these things you can do for any event. And that was a really cute little spread that we did for this baby shower. Plenty of fresh fruit, little mini banana pudding, some pretzel rods that I dipped here uh, to color coordinate with the theme. And I made this uh, mom and these centerpieces for the baby shower. It was just a really cute, fun uh, baby shower. And with such a big cake, we actually saved that top tier, and uh, Baby Maxwell was able to have that for his uh, first birthday party to uh, smash. Just a really cute, cute, cute cake. I've been blessed with getting really good cake, ladies. This was my daughter's spectacular cake. This is my older daughter's uh, Sweet 16 cake. I've got that video too. And here's a home theater that we actually built to have movie night for my daughter's uh, 21st birthday weekend. You, If you check out that video, you'll see how we built this home outdoor uh, theater as well. And here's some snacks that we had for our movie night.
right, Bree, what you got to say? Did you did you taste it? I love that. I love it. Happy birthday. <laughs> 21 in quarantine. Legal AF. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed some of my favorite parties here. Don't forget to comment if you've got any questions. Thank you, as always, for visiting the Make Me a Better Woman channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on that notification bell.